and we're just about going live right now i'll be bringing you through some your guidance your messages for the week ahead with the angels also talking about we always talk about a um a subject that will help you to heal and help you to move forward in your life because i want to be a force of light and a force of love for you to help you to connect with your angels and help you to connect with your soul and your own truth so that you can move forward in life right because that's what we all want we want to be creating what we desire rather than what we fear we want to perhaps you want to be a force of light and love in the world as well we want meaningful work and a loving connection with our angels and the divine so that we know that we're guided we know that the universe is on our side and we know we're protected because that's really important i think to well-being you know my life changed you know irreversibly from the minute the angels came into my life because i began to feel better about myself and life in general because i knew i was guided i always had the feeling i was before that but when I really got some clear signs and um, guidance that I couldn't mistake as being for me, it, it put my self-esteem up because it made me feel safer. I felt like, okay, I am on track. I am loved and guided by a higher force. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love getting signs. I love those little synchronicities and miracles that we get every day. I think that's like soul food. You know, when you're down or flat or low, a feather in the right place or a song with the right lyrics or, you know, a message from your angels can just turn a bad day into a good day because you know you're connected with a stream of magic and intelligence. And you know if you can connect with that, you can do anything. You can change any situation around in your life and make it better. So that's why I love working with angels and why I love working with you. Hi Dee, hello, hello, hi Jenny, how are you? Lovely to see you here. So the way this goes, I know we've got some new people online, um, new um, followers on my page, welcome. So every Monday, I've been doing this for, I don't know how long now, it might well be 10 years, you know, I was trying to work it out yesterday. Um, what are some of my old ones? I had like really bad lighting, really bad so um, sound, but still, you know, it was getting the angels messages out there we're all improving all the time we start with invoking the angels so that you can feel the angels around you and i can already feel archangel michael coming in <laughs> getting warm then we start we um i'll bring through the angels guidance for you for this week starting monday the 16th all the way through until next monday the messages and listen carefully to those messages you know just give yourself a moment of, of rest and receptivity to listen to those messages because very often the angels will answer your prayers your your desires your questions in that collective reading believe it or not because the angels are using me as a conduit and the cards also so i will say something that is meant for you there are no coincidences we know this so you're here at this time for a reason you were called here you felt drawn here or maybe you just turned your phone on and it, there i was because that happens all the time too you're here for a reason you know you are and so you have to listen to what's being said because the angels are working with you and me at the same time and though i might not know what i'm saying is important to you it it, it will be so listen to that also notice any inspiration guidance synchronicities visions that you have ideas during this session because that is meaningful that will be the angels have opened you up to listen to an angel message and then they are dropping in specific guidance for you so pay attention don't feel that you aren't as connected as i am right it's really super important so hi cheryl Lovely to see you. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's so lovely to wish everyone a peaceful week. Hi, Joe. Uh, hi, Joanne. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Kathy. Feeling very sensitive, right? Yeah. So you're tuned in to the, um, to the energy. So sometimes when you're feeling sensitive, it can be because you've taken on stuff if you're sensitive emotional and feeling kind of weepy 
might be something that's coming up for you to pay attention to or it might be that you need to protect your energy a little bit more so that you aren't picking up on everything out there so pay attention what you're being feeling sensitive to because sometimes the angels will turn up our awareness so that we can be aware of what um, something that they want us to to know or see or understand um, so first up let's um, as I'm talking to you I'm looking past the screen the camera and I can see um, a big blue orb on my on my wall and that's Archangel Michael standing by asking me to invite him in so we'll start with an invocation which I do every single day and I ask for and invite the presence of divine spirit thank you divine spirit for sending your angels for our protection our guidance and our healing and I ask to invite the presence now of Archangel Michael and his band of mercy angels. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for being here, for working through me and with me to bring through guidance for the highest and greatest good of everyone here and in the replay. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for protecting this session with your violet and blue dome of light. And Please provide a doorway in the center of the dome through which anything that is released can be immediately transmuted and removed from the energetic and physical space and the virtual space. And I also um, ask you, Archangel Michael, to offer your energetic shield of protection to everybody who now will receive it individually. So if you're watching and listening, just um, you can now put out for Archangel Michael to wrap you in his shield of light. And as you do that, just take a moment to, to do some deep breathing. And you might want to release anything that might be sitting in your energy field that um, you don't want there. Some negative energy, some fear, some you know negative thoughts, emotional energy. Just breathe and release that. And then when that protection is around you, you'll feel so much better. So thank you, Archangel Michael, for that. And I'm also inviting the presence of Archangel Raziel. That's R-A-Z-I-E-L or Z-I-E-L. And Raziel is the angel of divine mysteries. And that doesn't really accurately describe what he does, but I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a second. So thank you, Archangel Raziel, for coming in. And you might perceive with your eyes open or closed the um, energy of a rainbow, which comes in with Archangel Raziel. Now he has a very different vibration from Archangel Michael. Michael is very um, swift energy, strong, bold, hot. Raziel, it feels maybe a little bit more grounding and you might feel a kind of a buzzing sensation. You know, if you've meditated for a long time or you um, do a lot of OM chants, you get that kind of beautiful, soft vibration through. So thank you Archangel Raziel for lifting the vibration of this session and working with everyone here as is needed. Okay, so let's ask the angels what messages they have for you this week, for everyone. And I'm using Archangel Power Tarot by Radley Valentine. People ask me all the time, constantly, what cards did you use, what cards did you use? And I always credit them. And also I'm gonna be using Archangel Michael deck, an old, old deck that I've got here. So, Thank you, Archangel Michael and Archangel Raziel, for giving us a clear, meaningful, accurate reading that is helpful to everyone, no matter what they're holding in their heart right now as a question. And thank you for helping us with the energy of this time, this week, and helping us to stay present. Okay. Oh, it's shuffling a lot today. I've just cleansed these cards before I came on online. All right, so I'm pulling out three, unless the angels tell me otherwise. And then I'm going to bring one from Archangel Michael's deck. Whew. Hot energy. Okay. <laughs> right, they have told me to pull another one. Okay. They want an outcome. Yeah, got it. All right, so... Not surprisingly, the first card out is an Archangel Michael card. And I love this because the angels told me before we started today that we'd be talking about self-sabotaging blocks, like how we block ourselves, right? We all know we do it, don't we? We all know we've got some subconscious 
little program running that is, you know, working against our highest good sometimes. And maybe it shows up as a relationship, repeating relationship pattern or low self-esteem or negative thoughts or eating something, you know, is bad for you. You know, sim simple things like that or more complex things where you just kind of negative thoughts about yourself hold you back, you know? So this card is the two of Michael. This is Archangel Michael saying, there is something holding you back. And if you notice the two unicorns, they're literally a mirror of each other. So in this card, I read this as being you, your shadow side is blocking you. And it's, it's also about overthinking, overanalyzing, procrastinating. You know, that's a, that's a pattern too. Like hands up if you do that every time you've got a decision to make. It's this, it's a way that your small self, your ego, shadow side, undermines your higher self, your true authentic self. So your true self might say, hey, we're going to make a big change. We're going to, you know, your angels are guiding you too. How about doing this? It's going to make a big difference to your life. You're going to feel better. And your small egoic self will come in with, no, you can't do that. Or what, what about this? Or I don't want to. I don't feel like it today. So this is about um, releasing those energies and then being able to make clear decisions because decision-making is manifesting, isn't it? Decision-making is the fastest way to create that. Thanks, Alicia. Alicia's put her hand up, <laughs> brave. We all do, right? We all, we all do it. And the more we become, Jenny, yay, the more we become aware of it, conscious of it, and we're willing to admit it to ourselves, that is when we get our power back. So, you know, what keeps showing up time and time again in your life? Is it drama? Is it arguing with yourself? Is it running conflicts in your head? Is it um, putting up with things? You know, one of my big blocks for long, the longest time was that I would put up with things from people that weren't honoring me. I didn't like it, but I was too afraid, too nice, to say no to it so when i learned not to do that and it's it wasn't an easy journey to swing myself off of that track it everything starts to change abundance can come in because i'm not wasting time so the next card is really important so if we're thinking from the collective the big picture think about this from the individual and then go big all right in the world how are we how are we sabotaging ourselves <laughs> The block card, this is the solutions card, Archangel Zakiel. I'm really happy to see this one show up and it's affirming something that I've been thinking about too. So this is, Zakiel is saying, your success is coming. If you would just kind of step back a bit, forgive, heal, release, you know, just do the tiniest little bit of work. I always say it's like dropping a, a penny in a piggy bank, right? Every tiny little step you make in the in the creating of your life, a better life for yourself, an affirmation, talking to your angels, prayer, um, avoiding toxicity. It's like a penny in the piggy bank. And even though you might think, oh, I only did that once this week, at least you did it. And the more you do it, the more you reward yourself for it, the better it gets. So forgiveness, who and what do you need to forgive? This card is about the violet flame. Zadkiel is the angel of the violet flame. And the violet flame is a powerful gift that's been given to humanity to clear toxic, heavy energy. So this, you know, not only are you being shown your block, you're being shown the way through it. So visualize whatever is blocking you, whatever is challenging you at this moment inside this huge violet flame. And you can say the decree, um, I am a being of violet fire. I am, what is it? I'm a being of violet fire. I'm what the divine desires. It's gone from my brain. It'll come back to me in a second. So Zachiel is helping you to step back from things, go with the flow, clear out the negative toxicity. Angels and archangels are the most powerful beings for transmuting, which means removing and dissolving heavy, heavy energy. Now, as I'm saying that, I'm feeling this, this energy in my solar plexus. So whenever I do a reading and I feel something, it's not about me, it's about everyone else. 
whoever I'm reading. So the energy here is, are you hooked into something for drama? Are you hooked into someone who is draining your energy? Is there something that you keep doing that is connected with your solar plexus that's affecting your self-esteem, your sense of self, your sense of power? Who have you and what have you given your power to? Put it into the violet flame. Ask the angels to dissolve and transmute it. So there are solutions available. Even though it feels like a big wall in front of you, that wall isn't real. It's the power that you've given it. Another card about detox is your guidance card. So here comes Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, with two cards actually. This one is about detoxing. Now take a look at that card and which color, there's, there's seven buckets with a color in them. Which color stands out to you the most? The first one that, that, that you are attracted to. And that is a, that's it. I'm, a, I'm the purity good desires. Thanks, Colleen. Thank you. Um, the, the one that you're attracted to is the chakra that most need clearing. And that can give you insight into to the challenge that you're facing, you know? Like the yellow one is solar plexus, it's your personal power. The, the violet one, where's the violet one? The violet one, your crown chakra, your thoughts. Your, maybe you need to open up that connection with divine love and, and clear out those negative thoughts and, and ideas that are sitting in your energy field. So what, which one are you attracted to? Cheryl, the green stood out to me right away. So the green is the heart chakra. Right, that's about forgiveness, love, compassion. So when our heart chakra is blocked, it's maybe we need to forgive someone. We've got to clear out some resentment. Maybe we've got to forgive ourselves. <laughs> Past and present. Now the outcome for following all of this clearing and, and deleting these, these energies is this is beautiful. The 10 of Raphael, this is like the ultimate of what we all want. It's emotional fulfillment, it's abundance, it's like getting all your ducks in a row. You're not just successful, you feel loved. You know, it's it's all, all of the things so that you feel balanced in your life. So this is love and blessings filling your life, miracles, happy relationships. Um, there's a rainbow here, which brings us to Archangel Raziel, who I'll talk about in a second. We've got the caduceus, how do we say it wrong? Um, which is the emblem of Archangel Raphael, which is healing, health. Look, now look at this in regards to the world health, right? Here we are out and about with the family. Everything's beautiful. So I believe we're getting a, a bigger message too, that, that things are healing. We need to to forgive and release, find a solution, pop it into the violet flame and clear our own energy, detox, make decisions about what's important. And here we are with this ultimate peace and harmony. I love it. I love it. So blue says Julie. So blue is the throat chakra, Nicola as well. Um, blue is the throat chakra. So it's your personal expression, speaking your truth, being in integrity, speaking up for what is right in your world, um, speak, maybe spreading your message. It could be writing, it could be speaking, it could be um, painting, it could be any way that you get your, you, your, you get your energy out into the world. So if, sometimes our throat gets blocked when we're afraid of what other people think of us, for instance, or we're carrying guilt. Thanks, Colleen. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. That's the decree. So you say it nine times. I don't know why I got stuck with purity. Um, nine times. And you you could say, let's just think of something that's that's really negative in your life right now that's bothering you. That that thing is the being of violet fire. That thing is the purity God desires. And you say that several times. And you imagine it dissolving inside the violet fire. And then you, you say I am. Nine times, see yourself inside the violet fire and all of that negativity being burned away from you. It's a very, very powerful, very powerful energetic tool. So I love that the angels brought us to this. Now the final card 
is Archangel Michael. Now, write about your thoughts and feelings. Now, again, what stands out to me in this card is the rainbow. We've got the rainbow here. We've got the rainbow here. And we have the rainbow colors of the chakras. <laughs> so Archangel Raziel has found a way to show up in all of our cards. Now in this, in this card, Archangel Michael is shooing away negative energy. And it, look at him, with, he's got his arms up and he's protecting this person, which is you. And he's helping, helping you to connect with that higher energy and pull it down around you and refuse to be sucked into darkness and sucked into negativity and fear-based thoughts and projections and visions. You know, we've really got to stop ourselves sometimes and go, why am I thinking about something that hasn't happened yet? Why am I projecting that into my future? Do I want to create this? So Archangel Michael's helping you with this. And he's reminding you that when sometimes you can write down your goals, your dreams, but you can also purge your fear thoughts and burn it, right? Burn it on a piece of paper if you want to get rid of the stuff out of your, out of your mind. So let's talk about Archangel Raziel. And um, so Raziel is the angel of divine mysteries. And the reason I'm working with Raziel at the moment is he's the angel of the month, but I was giggling to myself this morning. I was listening to a, um, a manifestation teacher on, on my, on my ears, on my ear pods. And as I was walking and thinking about, gosh, this guy has got so much wisdom. It's almost like, you know, he's a guru. And then I realized why now last month, Archangel Ariel was the angel of the month. And I kept finding myself wearing pink this month. I'm attracted to all these wise old teachers that talk about the law of attraction. And it's, this is because it's Archangel Raziel, and that's what he is. He holds the secrets of the universe. So if you're trying to understand something about yourself or about a spiritual law, so a really good way to look at it is, okay, why am I attracting this current situation into my life? What has attracted it? And Archangel Raziel will help you to understand that through the laws of the universe by teaching you, okay, Maybe you've attracted it because you have low self-esteem thoughts all the time. Maybe you've attracted it because you haven't let go of a negative situation that has, that bothered you a long time ago and you're still thinking about it. So that vibration is still drawing something to you. So it doesn't matter what it is. Archangel Raziel helps us to understand at a deeper level. He helps us to understand the laws of the universe and he helps us to understand ourselves. And through that, he helps us to release the blocks the self-sabotaging thoughts, programming that's, that is in your subconscious mind that holds you in limitation or holds you in fear or in repeating old patterns. And so one of the ways that he does that is that he will take you back to a past life and remind you like that's the spot where this started and help you to release it from there. Or he'll just show you what to do to let go of it. For instance, saying affirmations or doing some energy healing to clear out that toxic energy from your energy field. So on Friday, I'm doing a live event with Archangel Raziel and I'm doing a guided meditation to take you back to a past life to help you identify what, where the problem or the, the situation that you're in first began and help you to release it. And we're also going to be doing a, a psychic activation and clearing. So we'll be clearing through all of those energy centers, the chakras, and clearing out any beliefs, blockages, stuck energy, psychic attack, cords that are sitting in there that are just, you know, keeping you in that low energy. Because sometimes, you know, if you've got a cord to something or someone that has upset you recently or past, that can act like a bungee rope just you know, as hard as you try to be positive, you will just sort of keep pinging back to that lower energy all the time because you've got this attachment of fear, negativity, guilt, sadness, anger, resentment sitting in your energy field. It acts like a like a boomerang or an, uh, a bungee rope pulling that situation or other matching situations of the same vibration back to you. So sometimes you don't even need to consciously know 
exactly what it is that's sitting in your energy field. But if you make a commitment, I'm going to clear out these energies because psychic energy is so important to our whole being, our whole well-being. When you decide to clear out that energy and you work with the angels, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, it will start to heal up and replace that low energy with a high vibrational divine love energy. Then you start attracting at a higher level and you more easily move away from those toxic situations that have been holding you back. You also get those aha moment insights, right? Which I love. That's my favorite thing to get like, oh, I've just realized what I've been doing. I just realized how I've been sabotaging myself, how I've been holding myself back. So that's what we're doing on Friday. It's a 90 minute Zoom session. It's a, a class and two guided meditations, a past life and a, um, a healing for your energy centers and opening you up, clearing out those blocks and opening you up to clearer intuition because that's one of your higher faculties. You know, we can either operate from ego, fear, negativity, moaning all the time, <laughs> or we can operate from our higher faculties, intuition, connection to source, um, using our mind for higher types of reasoning and, and perceiving what's real and what isn't real, self-healing with, with the angels and connecting with the angelic beings that are with you. So that's on Friday. It's $47 to join Australian. And you also get lifetime access to the replay. It's called Psychic Activation with Archangel Raziel. There's going to be a lot of healing in this. We've already, we've already got a lot of people signed up for it already. So if you'd like to be part of that, I will pop it in the comments so that you can um, find that. Hi, Natalie. There's a butterfly flying around my deck while you're talking about this. Yes, I love that. I love those signs. So Archangel Raziel's symbol is the rainbow because he carries the full spectrum of colors in his energy field. He also spreads out his wings really wide. He's very rarely a guardian angel because he carries the Akashic Records, the Book of Life, and all of the mysteries of the universe. He teaches us about the immutable laws of spiritual, of the universe, the things that we can't change, that we need to work with to improve our lives and to become all of who we really are. And so he tends to oversee the angels, but when he does come in and work with you, your life changes radically because he won't just work with anyone, right? He works when you're ready to make those big changes, when you're ready to find your life purpose because he understands what's inside your soul. There's so much about him I love. So I, and, and I just realized this morning as I was listening to this major manifestation teacher, I was like, he is carrying the energy of Raziel. That's where he got all this information from. Think of, um, you know, some of the best teachers like Wayne Dyer, Louise Hay, um, uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, those kind of people that really changed how, how everybody thinks and acts. They were working with Archangel Raziel energy and the, and the divine energy. Okay, so it does, would anyone like a card pulled? Would you like a reading? I've got about 10 minutes left. So I would love to pull a card for anyone that has a question for the angels or wants to ask about what anything that I've spoken about this morning. So, so lovely to have you all here. I really appreciate it. Hi, Cara. Welcome. Lovely to see you. So we're in lockdown at the moment. I'm in New South Wales. Hi, Carolyn. Sorry to hear you're feeling a bit blocked. Hopefully you'll feel better, lighter after this. So we're in we're in lockdown. We're we're in kind of a light version of lockdown up here on the mid north coast of New South Wales because um, um, you know we're a regional area, but we still you know can only go out for essential reasons. So I've decided to um, you know I don't go out. I do go out, but I was gonna say like my life doesn't change that much because I work from home. Um, the you know I'm dedicating this however long this lasts to me that I'm going to shift some energy out of my life that I don't need anymore that I'm going to upgrade my goals like 100 times more I'm I'm going to use this time to to manifest something greater and to serve at a deeper level for you guys so okay we've got some questions yes 
So I love a question. Please, you know, I don't want to just pull a card because I always say anyone can do that, right? Let's ask the angel something we really want to know. Oh, Carolyn, that's a good question. What is blocking me and will I recover? So do you mean you feel energetically blocked, Carolyn? Um, I'm going to use the Archangel Michael deck. So when you're thinking about a question, just think about what guidance would I like from the angels right now? How can I articulate that? So think about a life area, health, love, relationships with family, money, career. Um, think about what you want to know about that. What, what, what specific guidance would you like? That's a really, you know, the angels have come down to speak to you. So ask them a question. <laughs> Okay, so a question for Carolyn, what's blocking, what does Carolyn need to know about what is blocking her? Wow, interesting. Look at this. Now, one of my favorite um, things is, you know, the angels taught me is that when we have a goal or an intention, it's like pointing an arrow at a target. And so then we have to kind of focus our thoughts, our energy, our beliefs and our actions on that coming to fruition. So here the angels are showing like a, a, a bow and arrow and Archangel Michael is saying to you, focus on, on your intentions. So sometimes when we're not feeling well, we're not feeling good, the angels will say it to me too, like think about what you want rather than what you don't want. So we can get all caught up in the why and ugh, but they're asking to focus on what you want. So how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel? What do you want? What would indicate to you, Carolyn, that you're unblocked? Um, also, I'm getting a, a little message to do a deep cleanse of your energy, Carolyn. It feels like you're carrying a lot, especially around the shoulders and the neck area. It feels like this. It's almost like you've got a couple of heavy backpacks, you know, like as if you've put a backpack here and a backpack there and one on your back and you're kind of hunched up. So there's some pretty gnarly heavy energy um, sticking around your energy field. Some of that might have come from outside of yourself. So have you been hanging about with some, or, you know, virtually, like the internet can be a bit of a, can be, isn't, always, can be a toxic place if we're not careful. So I think you've got to clear your energy and focus on Archangel Raziel and Archangel Michael to clear you of psychic attack. But also think about how you attack yourself. What are you saying to yourself? What are you thinking about yourself? Clearing through those energies um, will make a difference. So there is a deep energetic um, cleanse on my free angel library, Deep Angelic Clearing. I suggest you do that if if you um, or I'm sure you've got something in your own library that you could use or maybe go and see your favorite um, energy healer. Um, I'm also getting really thirsty talking to you, so I think you need to up your water. Natalie, continue with my own program or take on another program that has been on my radar. Okay, well, there's some great questions here. <laughs> You're going to laugh. God is in charge. <laughs> I'm getting, I, I, I have to say, I'm really trying to tune into this. I feel like what you're doing is great and I feel like that is the ultimate outcome what you're doing even if you took on another program it it's like you will make it your own Natalie so in some ways I think this has become a bit of a, a knot and you need to just surrender it for a few hours I'm getting four <laughs> the number four four hours and four days if you can just surrender it and um, I know you know how to do that it's it doesn't, it's like everything is going along fine. And I almost want to say to you, what do you need, what do you need to change? Like what will this other program give that you haven't already got or even vice versa? 
So um, the divine is in charge and I think you just got to lean into that um, and, and yeah, go away and play. I hope that makes sense for you. Either way, you're going to be successful. Kara, relationship with husband feels out of balance. Insight from the angels. You're welcome, Carolyn. I'm glad that made sense. Natalie's cracking up. <laughs> it came to you in a dream last night, okay? Okay, so this one is for Kara. Gosh, the comments are moving quick. Yes, where's she gone? Kara, there she is. So Archangel Michael, what does Kara need to know about her relationship and how she can bring it back to how to balance? Oh, nice. So ultimately, you know, I love the card meaning you're on the right path. And Archangel Michael is there guiding you both. Now, psychically what I get from this is that perhaps you haven't been on, on the same path, that perhaps you've been looking in different directions or, and I'm sure like, I'm sure this is true of all relationships that sometimes you're walking on, on you know, similar paths and sometimes you go off in different directions and then you come back again, like, because you're, you're too, creative beings and um, you have to honor that in each other right that you will have your own journey but you're choosing to do it together so um it feels to me that you need to find at least a couple of things that are common ground that are exciting and inspiring to both of you that you can do together and that's going to help bring things back into balance um, it feels really good so this is a temporary out of out of balance and don't let your mind ego mind bully you into thinking otherwise thanks Cara hi Nikki lots of exclamation marks <laughs> love the energy um, that's very I'm trying to find a um I saw one. So a pattern on repeat. So you might want to come, Julie. Julie says, um, what's keeping me stuck in this pattern on repeat? So that's exactly what we're addressing on the um, webinar on Friday with Archangel Raziel about clearing those things that are, are on repeat patterns. And Archangel Raziel is stepping in. You might feel his energy, everyone, as he steps in for this one. So there's something in your in your thoughts, in your um, beliefs that is keeping you in this pattern. And Archangel Raziel is saying that you're, it's like, you know, has, here's, here's just an example, I'm not talking psychically. You know, we say, well, I'm gonna do a new diet, or I'm gonna do a new lifestyle or a new, uh, I'm gonna join the gym. And then, you know, we go really good for a while and then we wake up one morning and go, oh, I don't want to do that today. And, and that's because the old programming is saying, oh, I'll just stay the way you were. You were fine, you know. And it, the old programming might be, you know, that anything that you, you absorbed in your younger years, like low self-esteem, negativity, scarcity, lack, feeling not good enough. So you just have to keep doing what you want to do. Oh, okay. This is the one. Okay, we've got guilt. So Julie, you're, um, the angels are bringing your attention to guilt and it, they're saying you deserve good. You deserve to have happiness, peace. You deserve to not do negative self-sabotaging patterns. And guilt is one of the things that's holding you on so where is guilt or undeservedness or shame dwelling in your consciousness in your energy in your in your um thoughts that you can now clear out there's an unconscious pattern of guilt so guilt attracts us not looking after ourselves isn't it it's like i don't deserve this because i feel bad about myself 
I don't deserve this because this thing happened to me where I carry shame from. And so we unconsciously just keep doing things that don't, um, don't inspire. When we want something different, we've got to ask for something different because you're a creative being of light. And that one is directly from Archangel Raziel. You're a creative being of light. So create what you want, not what you don't want. You're welcome, Cara. Thank you. I'm trying to find a question. I'm trying to find a question here that isn't cryptic. Um, so, Rebecca, will I move to a new home sanctuary soon? That sounds nice. That sounds beautiful. So, is that what you're manifesting at the moment, Rebecca? It sounds gorgeous. I love the word sanctuary in there. So, um, teachable moment. <laughs> the angels always say that um, will I is it's a, a subconscious way that we we put out to the universe that we're powerless like you know that we're it's not going to happen or it's all under it's all you know it's fate or destiny so you know that you are the power in your own life you are the authority and the power you have creative power within you and the angels help you to co-create that beautiful home sanctuary um, they're helping you right now with it so the best question to ask is how you know angels what guidance do you have for me about moving to the home the sanctuary soon because they will show you the steps to make it happen because you know if you just sort of stop manifesting stay in bed don't do your affirmations get all depressed about it you could push it away you could just keep pushing it into the future so nothing is written in stone right how's this for the energy now i can feel your energy about this rebecca and it's very high vibe so you've positive thoughts create positive solutions look at the colors look at the energy look at him rising above on the rainbow talk to archangel michael and archangel raziel who's showing up so strongly in these readings today um to help you lift your vibe to keep adding more and more energy to it so that you're not asking will i you're not floating down the river with no paddles in your boat you are paddling so you start to say i am i am and the more you visualize it the more the stronger that energy of attraction will be the quicker it will happen So someone said, what's happening in my love life now? So I'm not going to ask that question, Marie. I'm going to say, what guidance do the angels have for you about your love life right now? Because only you know what's happening in your love life right now. Um, all right. So what guidance do the angels have? Because the angels give us guidance. They give us prescriptions to create what we want, not what we don't want. Now, this is a nice card for you, Marie. This card says the person you're asking about is trustworthy. Now, look at this. It's a card of, of movement, energy, all going in the right direction. It's rising above. It's it's clearing through all of the mental and emotional clutter, the heaviness that's dragging you down. And it's just saying, go for it. Keep your mind, your actions focused on what you want, not what you don't want. Clear out all the rest. You know, my beautiful, um, um, I had psychotherapy for years and I'm so grateful for it because it helped me clear out a lot of those patterns that I got as a child. And one of the things that my therapist used to say to me is, you know, when you're thinking about something, check it out. Is it real? Are you thinking about something real? Have you made it up in your head based on fear? And sometimes we don't, we need to ask the person that we're thinking about, like, I, you know, what's going on with you? Instead of kind of making it all up in our heads, because that is called projection and, and we, we get caught up in it. 
So you're being asked to have faith and trust and rise above all rest. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Hi, Nikki Noel. These, these are just... Um, these are just single card readings that I'm doing every Monday morning. Um, you can go to my website and book a private reading. Um, I definitely don't ask for people for money online. And so if anyone approaches you pretending to be me and sends, you know, a DM asking for money off of you, um, that's not me. Okay. Current job or search. This is for Nikki Noel. No um stay at my current job or continue to search for a different one so remember there's no shoulds in the universe this is a really good really good um lesson for everyone there are no shoulds the angels aren't going hmm you should do this <laughs> or you shouldn't do that they won't should you that's just a it's an imaginary rule should so come back to, is it a good idea for me to stay in my current job? Is it going to further my intentions, my goals for my life? Is it for my highest good? Or is it, is it a good idea for me to move forward? So you, that's lovely that you've made good friends. Okay, eternal love. So this is a beautiful card of love. Look at Archangel Michael protecting you. Um, this is all about understanding that you're safe no matter what you choose to do. I think that that beautiful energy that you bring is it creates the beautiful friends and um, and lovely energy. So you've got to come back to the drawing board, Nikki, and say, what are my ultimate intentions? Where do I see my life going? What do I feel like my purpose is? It might be okay for you to stay where you are for now, but if it's you know it, it, sometimes we live in a bit of limitation we go well if i leave here what if there's nothing better what if i don't get this as good as you know but there's always something there's always abundance out there so you don't need to think that it's either this or either that so i think that's you know that's really what the, le the lesson is here come back to your goal work closely with archangel michael and just soak up the love of all your beautiful friends i think it's lovely and and live in abundance not scarcity okay hi kath so i'm going to leave it there because i've gone the longest i've ever gone it's usually half an hour so thank you all so much for being a part of um this i love it so much i look forward to it every monday i'm doing one at 5 p.m on instagram live today australian eastern standard time and also on Thursday nights at five o'clock on Instagram, I do a little bit of a live midweek check-in there. Um, if you'd like to come to those, come and follow me on Instagram. You can also go over to my um, website. You can sign up to be part of my mailing list. Um, you'll get the free guide for the angel numbers um, as soon as you sign up. There's a library of free meditations as well over there. And if you want a private reading, you can book a private half hour or one hour with me. And please come to the Archangel Raziel Psychic Activation class and guided meditations on this Friday, the 20th of August. Um, it's only 47 Australian dollars and you're going to get so much value out of it, so much clearing and healing and insight and wisdom from the angels. So I will see you there. Angel blessings. Have a beautiful week and look after yourself.